Remember when DJs were part of the rap group? Each group had their own DJ, and you were sure to know the DJ's name before the show or the song was over. The MCs bragged about how great their DJ was, and they put the DJ on a pedestal. The spotlight was on the captain of the ship. They had all the records and all the equipment. Remember, no DJ, no music. Did you hear what I said? No DJ, no music. Silence. Now let's have a moment of silence. Well, where did they go? Did they sell their record collection and equipment because times got too hard? Did they sell their stuff and move on with their life and get a real job? They just stopped coming around the parks and hanging out. Did they all get fired from their group? Well, where did they go? Somebody's got to know. Wait, do you hear that? Nah, that's not them. That's just the radio in the background. It's just so puzzling. Makes me scratch my head. Scratching. What is it? All that scratching is making me itch. Remember when DJs did cutting and scratching during the song? Man, I thought Jam Master J's hand was going to rip right through my boom box the way he cut those guitar riffs and horn blasts. Bam, 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 chicka, 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 bam. I thought I was in a kung fu movie the way Mix Master Ice threw those daggers through my speakers. But when I heard DJ Jazzy Jeff turn the record into a bird, Say word. Then he did the transformer scratch. Man, I searched my whole crib to find all those bits and pieces to put the groove back together, but there was just too many pieces. Now I've heard the stories about Herc, Bam, Flash, Theodore, and Jazzy J, Teddy Ted, and Special K. They were awesome too. Red Alert, Magic, and Molly kept me tuned in every single weekend to hear these records like Enough! Enough! Well, it was one of those days, not much to do. Well, it was one of those days. Well, it was one of those days. Well, it was one of those. Why did they do that? And how did they do that? It was like a whole new version of the song. Pretty damn cool, if you ask me. And speaking of cool, LL Cool J is hard as... What's my DJ's name? Cut Creator! And why did his other DJ named Bobcat wear a raccoon hat? Hmm. Maybe he just liked the TV show The Honeymooners. Hey there, Ralphie boy. Yeah, boy! Yo! My DJ's nicer than yours. Well, who's your DJ? Well, KRS had Scott LaRock. Rakim had Eric B. Salt and Pepper had Spinderella. Big Daddy Kane had Mr. C. Cool G Rap had DJ Polo. Kid and Play had DJ Wiz. Shoot, Clark Kent, DJ for Dana Dane, Jay-Z, and even Big. Dougie Fresh had Chill Will and Cut Professor Barry B. Slick Rick had Vance Wright and Biz Markie had Cool V. Terminator X spoke with his hands. Pete Rock and DJ Premier had other plans. They said, we'll do all the funkiest scratches and we'll make all the beats. Keep everything in house so the whole family could eat. Hmm. Make way for the super producers. Well, that was already started by Larry Smith, Rick Rubin, Molly Maul, BDP, with the help of said G, the Bomb Squad, and Paul C. Large Pro was making his debut, and Prince Paul brought in this new crew, De La Soul, big up to Maceo. The DJs were still holding it down till about the mid to late 90s when it got turned around and they got pushed so far into the background. But wait a minute, what about Kid Capri, Doo-Wop, Tony Touch, DJ Clue, K Slay, and a few others that kept the DJs alive with mixtapes? You know, blending, cutting, scratching records to keep you rocking for 90 minutes on a cassette? Then others followed suit and started making mixed CDs, but still calling the mixtapes until rappers couldn't make albums anymore and they slopped together mixtapes, jacking 25 of the hottest industry beats and doing so-called freestyles. Yo fam, you listen to hip hop? Yo fam, yo fam, yo check out my mixtape. Good grief, Charlie Brown. <sighs> the new millennium. Rap music was corporate full throttle. Advertisements, endorsements, popping bottles with models and representing a lifestyle that was tremendously hostile. Bling bling, making it rain, creating a gangster image. Stone faced, the ice age, hearts so frigid. Can we please get back to the DJ? No more DJ scratching in songs. Sorry, it's not needed anymore. A lot of DJs now have fancy controllers, but they can't even control the crowd, let alone control themselves. Jumping, fist pumping, both hands in the air, off the equipment during a mix. What the? The tour DJ was reduced to just pressing play. Yo, DJ, let my instrumental play. Smoked out stage, 20 person entourage cluttering up the space, rappers with their rapidy raps all up in your face. Oh snap! The music stopped. 
Who's to blame? The sound man or the DJ? Wait, is there a DJ in the place? Has anybody seen the DJ? Where is the deed seen the DJ? Where is the deed seen the DJ? Where is... Remember when DJs were part of the rap group? I do.